So tonight we're going to be attempting uh, something a little different. It is um, a soap poured into my slab mold here with something that I have found um, to lay on the bottom and just kind of pour the soap on top and then uh, pull this through. It's called the um, push-pull method, I think is what it was called. I can't remember now. I'm nervous. It's camera time. So now I forget my words. But anyways, these are some light covers. Um, we got some LED lights and we just happened to have a couple of extra of these hanging around. So I just took a pair of um, snips and snipped one size to fit my slab mold. And then this one was to uh, fit into my regular log mold, which I'll try um, a different one if I don't like this, how the results are in this. Then I've got another backup to try. So I've got my recipe here. This is an olive, an olive oil, coconut lard, avocado, and sunflower oil mixture. Um, and my lye water here. The oils are 85, the lye is 87. We're gonna try this and see. Um, I don't usually soap with lard, so last time was not good for me. I don't think I emulsified my batter quite right. Um, it's a very slow tracing recipe. Um, and it was so slow that apparently I messed up on, on my soap that time. But we're going to go for it again here. Now, I'm going to get my stick blender here. And I did add a little um, sodium lactate to my lye water. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that's screwed on there. And because I'm using the squirt bottles, I don't want to have too thick of a trace, but I do want to make sure that it's emulsified. So I'm just making sure there's no bubbles. Um, looks like the mixture is together. Actually looks good so I'm just gonna stop there so I definitely don't want to mix it too much I think it looks a little bit better than I did last time so set that aside and what we're gonna use today for fragrance oil is um, sex on the beach by with uh, from Wholesale Supply. And my colors I'm using, um, Crafter's Choice or Wholesale Supply, Matte White pigment, pow pigment Powder mixed with water. I have a little Tahitian Teal from Mad Micas. This is Key West from Mad Micas. And once again, Tall, Dark, and Handsome Mad Micas. I just kind of want to get it to look a little bit like a beachy scene. And I'm just gonna throw, I'm gonna take a shot. The reviews say it doesn't um, accelerate trace and it's a very good one for cold process. So I'm hoping they're not fibbing to me. I'm just gonna whisk it in here. It smells like, it smells like coconuts, maybe pineapple. I've actually had this fragrance oil for a long time. When I bought it, I had ideas of making little coconuts with soap dough. But it kind of went into the back of my fragrance drawer. So now I'm just guesstimating. I'm gonna try to do equal amounts. This recipe is for 34 ounces of soap. Oh, it's 34 ounces of oil. Hopefully gonna be enough to fill my 
slab mold. So I can either cut just straight down um, into my bars or cut the mold into half. Um, I'm going to try to do both ways to see which one has the better results. This is the tall, dark, and handsome. And I probably used a lot of oil to mix with this mica. But I figured the more the merrier. It's a nice brown color. I wanted that for like the sand. This is the Key West. Okay, and this is the Tahitian teal. It's one of my favorites. I love this color. I recently just started doing some fluid acrylic paint pouring in two out of my three paintings. It had some sort of teal in it. I'm really on a teal kick these days. And this is the white, the matte, uh, matte white picnic pigment power powder. Good God. Mix with a little water. All right. So now we'll make sure that you can see what's going on here. Let me get a little closer. Everybody move, 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 move. So I'm gonna pour it this way. And onto my little things here, I've added just some little copper handle jiggies to help pull it up. Oh, and there's also a cat hair in there or a dog hair. Um, what I thought would be cool would be to fill each one of these um, kind of like so. But I'm just going to... Moving in there nicely. I'm just going to do this. It's going to... Right on there like that. Kinda neat. So there's my first layer. Okay, and now I'm gonna alternate the colors. I think I'm gonna put um, the blue on top of the white. And now I'm just starting to reach the top of my little gray here. Great. So I am gonna have to pull this up here in a minute. Okay, a little 
point. I think it looks pretty neat so far. Okay, I'm gonna just pull it up just a little bit. It wants to just kind of sit back down. Hmm. Well, we'll just have to kind of pour one-handed. The grate just kind of wants to fall back down inside. So, I mean, it's okay. It's not terrible, but I don't think that's what we're looking for. So it's doing a little brown. Things get a little muddled here. It's it hard to remember where you should try to squirt your color, so now we're just kind of putting them in here. Just stacking them in. Let's do a little white right here. One of the things with the soap challenge is you're always stepping outside of your boundaries, your comfort zone, I guess. I have certain types of soap that I love to do. I love to do hanger swirls. I love to do a little mixture of melt and pour with my cold process. I think it looks really neat so far. I really do like how it's turning out. And I hope it looks this cool. And I, there we go. So now we're just gonna pull it up a little bit more. And this is the problem I thought I was gonna have. Good. And back to it. It's kind of filling in them lines. Yeah, brown. I'm going to put some right here. some weight. This soap batter is still nice and fluid. That's good. It really is a good recipe for this kind of project. And the fragrance oil is holding up quite nicely too. So keep 
this moving up. Now I had thought about just leaving this on the bottom and that is maybe an option because I'm sure I'll be trying this again as I always do on these three soaps. And then I put a little thing out on Facebook and see who likes what one the best. And then that's the one I usually enter. It's just about time to move it up again. Now one of the things, I guess I just needed like something to just kind of hold these. Um, my kid's hand would have been helpful. I'm getting down there. What's up, babe? Um, are you recording? Yes. That's okay. You can come down. And what are you going to do then? In a minute. Say hi, Dan. Hi. All right, it's going to be the oops last time around here. No, that end wants to keep sinking. Stay. Oops, raised it up too much. Make sure you stay back. We don't have glasses on. Oh, I like that little effect. Get a little spray. All right.
So you can see the little squares in the top layer, and it looks kind of neat, I think. So we'll give it a little tap here. And I'm just going to spray it with a little alcohol and then put a little top on it. And then I'll be real patient, and I'll come back in a couple of days to cut it.